For seven years, the Surp Kiragos Armenian Church in southeastern Turkey stood empty on Sundays, but now it's filled with worshippers. Its reopening after renovation is cause for celebration. It's the largest Armenian church in the Middle East and holds a significant place in the hearts of many Christians living both in the city of Diyarbakir and abroad. We came from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I lived here 43 years ago. I was born here in Diyarbakir. I have very mixed feelings, but it's nice to be here again. We came from Paris. This is where I was born and raised. This church is where I was baptized. I am very honored and proud. The church was built in the 16th century during the rule of the Ottoman Empire. It was renovated in 2011 but heavily damaged four years later during attacks by the PKK terror group. The Turkish government restored the Surp Giragos Armenian Church along with a smaller church in Diyarbakir, Marpetyun. The renovations cost more than $2 million. We had restored the church earlier with a very large budget but it was later destroyed in terror attacks. We couldn't fix that destruction. Thanks to the Turkish government's compassion, this temple has achieved its formal glory after two years of restoration work. The vast complex is spread over 3,000 square meters. It stands side by side with Diyarbakir's Grand Mosque. Many see its location as a symbol of the city's cultural harmony. We Armenians live here in Diyarbakir, together with Assyrians, Chaldeans, Armenian Protestants and Catholics. We also have mosques here. Everyone worships God in their own way, but we are all under the same sky. With the restoration work is now complete, the bell is ringing again at the Surp Giragos Armenian Church after seven years of silence. As it reopens its doors to visitors and worshippers, it's also helping to revive the intercultural richness of Diyarbakir. Kübra Koç, TRT World, Diyarbakir, Turkey.